exclusive I just promised you my time And I'm giving it to you, babe So why are you being accusive? Your emotions running wild If you don't calm down, I can't stay Breathe in, breathe out Let me speak now What happened was a one-time thing No bullshit, no lie I swear I'll try to give you my everything I'm gonna finish up my book and then I also just have my water. So this is our view. seen that gym that packed ever um i literally walked in there i had the intention on filming my workout i walked in that gym and i said this is not it's not gonna happen because it was so packed y'all like so packed so i'm like sweating everywhere my gym has two floors and usually if upstairs is packed i know the downstairs won't be and i mean we have like separate rooms of everything it was people everywhere y'all like for real so yeah it did not happen today but uh i'll try to do it tomorrow i'm gonna go home and try to i want to paint my nails because i want to do my nails i haven't had my nails done in a while because when i took my nails off the last time i accidentally like ripped this pinky off too and it's grown back now and we're good to go i let her breathe for like two months so now I feel ready to put nails back on. So I'm gonna do that. One time, let it slide, let it don't mind me i am so frustrated this morning though because i have this necklace and so i did my nails yesterday i have this necklace on and i literally this is like unfastened i worked all morning to get this thing unfastened because it got tangled on my neck and now i can't get it off my neck it is tangled on my neck and i can like move it like this part is like what's tangled. 
So I'm just leaving it because I don't know what else to do. And I, I don't know. I'm fresh. I'm frustrated. So I'm just going to like put it down for a second. But um, I might try to see if someone at the gym can take it off for me. I don't know if the lady who's usually in the gym, if she has nails or not. I can't remember. Oh, maybe I'll see if there's like a jewelry store or something around here instead. Okay, for breakfast, y'all know I love my open face sandwiches. So I'm making an English muffin um, with two eggs and some turkey sausage. So I'm just gonna preheat my oven so that I can sit my English muffins in there. And I did have these frozen, but I put them in the fridge yesterday so that they can so that they can be nice and ready for this morning. All right, so I'm just gonna sit this in here and let that do its thing. So I won't take that long. But breakfast is gonna be super quick. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of jam on my English muffin because I don't have any, I don't have any avocado. And y'all know I love my avocado when I do this. All right, while that pan's heating up, I'm just going to go ahead and cut up the turkey sausage. Knowing you're at home, I'm mad. I know I shouldn't feel like that. I do it, you do it, we do it all the time. Pushing the buttons until we both lose our mind. Why can't we let Ourselves play it safe just for a while. Cause baby, I know it, you know it, we know it. Deep inside, we do addicted to friction to change our minds. We're so in love, but babe, it's not enough to survive. Cause it's your way, love, love, love. That makes us do all the stupid shit that we do. All of the stupid shit that we do. I can get this necklace off of my neck I called K Jewelers and um, they said that they would try so I tried twice before I left the house wish me luck because I can't live like this I cannot but it feels so good outside and look at my hair it's in a cute little um, I'm like sporting my my little hats now I need to get more of these because I think I'm probably gonna wear these like all summer with my hair out maybe now don't call me on that i know i just put it on camera i don't know why <laughs> my hair done for my birthday um i'm gonna do goddess braids myself so wish me luck on that as well okay so quick update there is no longer a necklace on my neck but they did have to break it so it's in this bag I am gonna have to get a whole new chain completely. That chain is too tiny. And then I wanted to get my ring resized, but it has yellow gold on it. Um, and they don't do yellow gold at K's. It's fine. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat before my hair appointment. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a move, body giving sin views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one fan, your side up, Lord. Got me think about inside them walls. Words cut deep, it's like a swat. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
You a move, body giving, seen a fuse I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing 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 Just text, I know it's a toss Oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such Ay, The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we overdue What you doing right now? Right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up Knew you from the way, now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it We could keep the pace on slow jam Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have is the moment Good morning, you guys. So this morning, as you saw, I had to take Pooh to the vet because her third eyelid basically got like irritated and inflamed. So um, it was super big last night when I came back from getting my hair done. I was eating dinner and she came over to me and I was like, what is in your eye? And so, yes, yeah, so I was going to take her yesterday because I was just freaked out. Um, but I called the vet and she said that, you know, it was nothing that I had to, like, worry about that night. Like, if she was still eating and drinking, I can just take her in the morning. So, it just took her and I'm about to head to work. Um, but, yeah, very eventful morning. If you are wondering what this is on my forehead, so am I. <laughs> um, I think it is a spider bite. It kind of looks like... I think it's a bite of some sort. It looks like a spider bite because when it first got there, it was like two like little things like that. I don't know. It seems to be getting better, but yeah. It looks like it's gonna leave a scar and I'm not happy about that, but what, you know, what can we do about that? Um, and then for my hair, last thing I'm gonna talk about, <laughs> my hair, I just put clip-ins in this morning and I didn't show the process because I'm still trying to like tweak the process. Um, I've had these clip-ins for a long time. I just straightened them yesterday. But yeah, I'm about to pull into work, so I will talk to y'all probably tomorrow because it's raining, ain't much going on. I'll probably go home after this, honestly, and just like hibernate or something, so bye. <laughs> Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Mm -hmm. Playing trances Going all to different places Different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time And second chances Empty handed You like the fast life get breakfast with Kendra and 
I have nothing against diners. I just want to say that first. However, some of the diners around here be looking a little questionable. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm going to say about it. But um, for my hair, I, I put the clip-ins in and then I was like, mm, they were like looking real choppy. So I'm going to have to find like a different alternative because when I originally put those clip-ins in, I cut them <coughs> and um, I cut them. I don't remember exactly why, but I kind of had to like cut them like evenly. And so that would have worked if I like consistently put them in the same way, but I don't. So now they just look really choppy because of the placement sorry i'm like spitting now they just look really choppy because of the placement um and i kind of want to do i kind of want to get some new ones but i don't want them that long i kind of just want them like shoulder length i don't really need like super long clip-ins but i did put them in and then i decided to put like a little headband on i did my edges i have like two like little pieces out and then I just put it in like a claw clip sorry I'm doing the most while I'm driving but I put it in a claw clip um and I like it I think it's pretty cute so I'm gonna leave it like this and then I'm just trying to figure out how long I'm actually gonna leave it straight because I don't know I feel like straight hair is just high maintenance and um which kind of defeats the purpose I guess of some people getting a relaxer but I don't get a relaxer to wear it straight like I mean I it's nice like if I want to but it's not like the sole reason of why I have a relaxer and we're not gonna go into details <laughs> about it <laughs> that's it okay just know that but yeah I'm about to go I'm about to go to breakfast um I will let y'all know if this food is disgusting or not hopefully not but I won't know Can we trust the stars up up to let us know I'm cold You only got this life No guarantees Okay, so my thoughts on the restaurant I thought it was really good I got an omelet and fried potatoes um, and everything was really good. The omelet was huge. It was a three egg omelet. It was huge. It was stuffed. It, I got just like a veggie one. It was really good. Um, so I would give the diner, honestly, the service too was so good. They were so hospitable. I, I feel like they were Southern. It was, it was giving Southern hospitality. You know what I mean? So, um, I would say I would rate the food, the service. Honestly, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 for real my food was great like food was great service was great they were very accommodating so yeah it was good it was good i can't hate on the diner i can't hate on this diner now i'm so lovey about diners <laughs> but this diner it was a win all right i am about to wax myself so this is a kit that i got And these are the waxes. So they have hard wax. And this is what the beans look like. I don't know why they flavor the wax, but that's not my business. So it comes with those two. Um, there's four. No, there's five in here. Um, they're all hard wax. And then it has this tea tree flavor, which I'll probably use and it says no strips required um all of them it comes with the sticks so you can apply it which obviously i'm sure i'm gonna need more sticks and then i think these are like some small ones really has everything you need um it has this after wax spray and then this pre-wax spray so and then obviously this is the big wax melter the instructions which are well this is a warranty card but the instructions are down here which is very important I'm 
I'm gonna tell you guys about my waxing experience. So first of all, that shit hurts so badly. I would recommend you do it with someone else. Um, and I would also recommend that if you don't have anyone to help you, like I would recommend that you just practice how much wax to get on the stick and like practice like spreading it. Like towards the end, I kind of picked up on it better and like, you know, found like a better consistency for the wax and everything else. But like in the beginning, painful, okay? So I would recommend one, just, yeah, getting some help too. If you don't have any help, just practicing um, how much wax to use. Like, just practicing how much wax to use. But um, I made it through. I finished <laughs> my. And also, I think the pain depends on how much hair is there. Because when I went over over to like do like cleanup, it didn't hurt nearly as bad. So um, that's also something to keep in mind. My next wax is going to be professional because I'm going because I'm going out of the country for my birthday but I think after that um, I'll be okay to just continue doing home waxes but yeah it was quite an experience <laughs> so that is all I gotta say about that and I will catch y'all in my next vlog bye